It was in the east, or so I saw in my mind's eye. At the guiding sun, the star I had followed with all but a sigh, had settled its semblance in a golden land, in the diminutive form of a dove. I reeled and reveled, for the moment had come at last. I was to return, to find a home, and establish dominion in the kingless world. A new, loving kingdom would rise from dead ash. I found myself across the topaz ocean, at the border of a mountain shelf, donning brilliant snow. The shipman was glad to get through the sea's span and arrive soundly. I looked to the swirly peaks of gray, green, and white, standing amongst clouds and flurries. The prize of mine was just there, on the other side of Himalaya-like summits, greatly grand in size. I went to a pub, hiding myself under cloak at the bar and waited for a brother to come inside. After some time he arrived to find me weary but restless to leave for our prize, the Mont of Life. When we fled from the pub, the wispy clouds had converged in force and were bearing down on our heads. The crisp snow was carried by the last breath of a dying winter, reminding us of lines from a tome long ago. This world is a winter. Do not yourselves pray for boons in winter, but hold for the wondrous summer. When the blizzard had cleared, at dawn on the third day, after many others had joined us among the stoical pines, we saw the mont we all had so happily feared.